Hi there, welcome to Brock's Fish Garage. Today, we have another episode for you. This one's gonna be a how-to video on how to reseal a tank. We have a pretty nasty looking 10 gallon up there, and we're going to be stripping it down, cleaning it up, we're going to remove any silicone that's in there already, and then we're gonna give it a fresh batch of silicone so it'll be nice and ready for our next episode, which is a surprise. Uh, I have something in mind, but I'm not saying just yet what it's gonna be. And uh, we'll get that all set up, and we'll show you how to do it. Look, whoever had this one before thought it would be a good idea to use caulk. Not good, not, not the best idea with aquariums. You don't know if it's safe, if it's gonna leach chemicals into the water. So it's best to stay with aquarium or all purpose silicone sealant. The great thing about silicone is that it's inert, which means it doesn't react with other chemicals. Where can we dump this? Dump it right in here. Now we need to wash it out. Razor blade, a longer razor blade, a scraper to help you out on those really thick bits of silicone, some silicone. You can get them in these really big bottles, or you can also get them in little tubes from the pet store. What we're going to do is we're going to take our handy dandy razor, and then we're going to start scraping out the bits of silicone on each corner being careful not to scratch the glass. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a light solvent, like nail polish remover. Uh, you can also use acetone to clean up all the residue around the corners, get rid of any silicone residue, make the surface nice and smooth. So it'll be ready for the new silicone. You don't wanna use too much, just enough to be able to clean up those corners. So when the caulk was removed, we actually found the reason why the caulk was there in the first place. There's this big old crack on the bottom corner of the tank. We're going to seal that up with the silicone. Now normally I would not recommend even using this tank anymore. I would just throw it out if you see a crack like this. 
because then you're just gonna have more problems down the road. But we're just gonna go ahead and seal this whole tank up anyway. Now that the tank is clean, we're gonna use some masking tape around the corners so the silicone doesn't get everywhere. Once your tank is all taped up, then you can start putting on your silicone bead. We're going to do this quickly as we'll only have about five minutes until the silicone starts to cure and at which point it won't be as easy to work with and it'll start to clump up if we want to move it around. Now that we put on our bead of silicone all the way around up each end and around all four bottom corners, we are done. This tank is completely sealed. We also put a little bit of silicone around that crack there. Hopefully that'll keep it from leaking. And now we have to wait a couple of days for the silicone to cure at which point it'll be ready to put water in. That right there is generally how you reseal a fish tank. This is my second attempt resealing a fish tank, so if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Be sure to subscribe so you'll know exactly when our new video will come out where we'll be filling up this 10 gallon tank as well as these two 10 gallon tanks in our next experiments. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.